Hey, what's going on, y'all? Sam is Slim here. Welcome back to a Slam Review alongside my girlfriend, Daisy. Daisy Days. And uh, we're here for another horror movie review. And uh, uh, another kind of, well, she. we watched Child's Play 3, the last movie we watched, which was enjoyable. I know you didn't like it as much, but I think you enjoyed it more than this film here, uh, probably. Or did you? This one was, like, funny bad. Yeah. This is the Night of the Creeps, 19, yeah, 1986 Night of the Creeps, a science fiction horror comedy. And before we even talk about it, and yada yada, per se, this is another film that has been in my crosshairs. It's just, I've always seen it. If I just go past it, like, eh, I don't want to watch it. What? Crosshairs. Well, I'm just saying that every time I'm, I'm on my... Crosshairs. Every time I'm in my, uh, I, every time I'm in my, uh, I'm watching, looking at the movies on Cinema HD, I always see it, and then I always, people talk about it in horror movie documentaries. It's, it's one of those horror movies that is so bad, it's funny. It's got, um... Why are you never looking at the camera? You're just looking well, at... I'm reading. Oh. But, um... It's directed by Fred Decker in his direct, directorial debut. And it is... It stars Jason Lively, Jill Whitlow, and Tom Atkins. Tom Atkins is the only thing that's great about this film. Well, it's also got Alan Kaiser in it, who played uh, Bubba and Mama's Family. Yeah, Bandy. he's a dumbass dude. Right? He plays the douchey sorority jock Was this guy. before Mama's Family? Yes. It has to be. Yeah. Because he was kind of older. I don't know what I think, but I don't know. But th this film is is pay zombie. It's 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 a main plot zombie related, but it also mixes with slashers and alien invasions. I mean, it's just before we spoil it and everything. I mean, the, that's just the plot. You got these weird. Yeah, the first beginning. That barely has anything to do with these alien fucking invasions. nut bag. These body suit. Naked alien doll boys. There's they look like giant nutsack. <laughs> they look like nutsack. It's like a, an a wall, an a wall upset alien. Just oh, there's a Sebastian cameo, but uh, there is a fucking they go a wall like one of their fucking aliens. Um, Oh, well, the alien was possessed. The third one, like, they, they, they launched this experiment out to the world, and then... They're it, like these little black, giant leaks Slug fucker. <laughs> you know, and it's just... And it launches in the 1950s, and, like, this guy gets it, and then his girlfriend is hacked to death by a maniac, and all around it just doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I just, been, like... And then we fast forward to 1986. I know, but when we go in the 50s, it goes to that damn... That... Criminally insane mental patient. Yeah. That's why I didn't make it, like, they had the, the, the thing comes there, and then it went to them. It went to that, I guess. Yeah. Supposedly, it came to the, this mentally, you didn't even see the kill or anything. But, I mean, that's how it goes. And and then he, he has these two, okay, where's that? And then he goes 27 years later, and you have Chris Romeo, uh, Romeo is played by damn Jason Lively, who is terrible. I'm sorry, he's a poor man's Anthony Michael Hall. I've seen him in uh, National Lampoon's Aww. European Vacation with Chevy Chase. Aww. He is playing Anthony Michael Hall's original character. He's terrible. And his friend's funny as hell. It, it's JC, his friend's name is JC. And he's played by uh, Steve Marshall. And he doesn't have any credits on this thing. Or he has no, like, this is probably the only movie he ever did. Because he realized how shitty it was. But yeah, he's got his friend, uh, the guy in the, um, oh lord, what's wrong with me? Um, I can't think of what they're called. Oh my god, help me. I don't know. Uh, braces. He's got arm braces, you know, and he walks like Jimmy. And he's sarcastic as fuck, and he he's a fucking... He is annoying. Is this yours or not? That's yours. Okay. Um, but, you know, like, they unfreeze this body, and yeah, it's like it a pledge hacking. thing. They get, like, a whole pledge. It's like a beta thing. Yeah. He's a, he's Brad, a... who's played by Alan Kaiser, um... Small part. Well, yeah, oh, yeah, the fucking dumb... Tells... Thing. Them, they have to put a body on the rival sorority team who you never ever see. Yeah, you know, it's just yeah, but that's it. And then he goes through, and then you 
you see Tom Atkins, who's haunted by the in the fifties. He was an officer, a beginning officer, with the whole criminal insane thing. It's all, it's just all fucking weird, and it goes back and forth. And I don't know how to say. It. I mean, I like the music, with kind of the score, the eighties. What? But I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It's just this film. I just wasn't into it. I mean, I, I mean, it's cool they have all these characters are paying like some of the characters in these like this random people are paying homage to like directors. Like yeah. there's Cronenberg, there's Rami, there's Dante, there's I don't know what else there's fucking. In. I, know it's, I knew it should be on here. I can, like to talk about what no, I didn't talk about it. Oh, there was gonna be an unofficial sequel, but no. Yeah, they see, they have the nerve to sequel bait it at the end. Where oh yeah, this and also too, I found out that like things are going into the cemetery. Yeah, that. Yeah, the original and th that and also that was the original ending because there's a theatrical ending which we didn't see, but I just read it, and that was fucking stupid as it is, but. I I mean this review sucks. I don't care. This movie sucks. I mean it's it's a horror comedy. And it just didn't pass a. I mean, there's tits involved. Yeah, that's what sells it, I guess. But it, it's a cult. Tits, though. Yeah, like the yeah the tanning the the, the tan nipples with the, no the white nipples tan and then the tan line. line. Yeah, and it's just wasn't good. It just wasn't good. I mean, the one thing great about this film is Tom Atkins' scenes, and he also he mars himself, and then it's stupid, and the aliens still somewhat, and then the endings is so stupid. It's just the they aliens just trying come to come out back. Of his head and they go into some. And then you have the original aliens are back to fi the spotlight trying to find him, and then DN. That's like a very anticlimactic kind of ending. It's just stupid. It's just stupid. <laughs> I just I wasn't a fan. I thought I would be a fan of this film. You know, some eighty film, some eighties horror movies are great. This one was straight up poo poo. It was straight up shit, and I mean. And maybe give, I mean, if there's a letter, I mean, or if this was a rating, I'd probably give it like a 2 out of 10. Yeah, I'd I give mean, it a little it, more the one thing, three. Or 3 or 4. The one I mean, thing great about funny. this, I mean, I mean, yeah, I mean, some In of the jokes are kind of... that it's so stupid and, and the lead, you laugh. Just, Jason Lively is just a terrible lead. He's just, hey, come on, baby, you can do it! Flip through it! I <laughs> like the beginning. Now, Johnny! 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 The guy with the John. Like this, you know? Yeah, I just, I mean, the Johnny. cool, I love the, in, the intro, so now you the creeps, I like the visuals, oh yeah, the bus, the bus driver turning all cartoonish, yeah. before he died or whatever, and the dog, <laughs> yeah, but the damn, it, it goes from the, and we're spoiling it, whatever, but I mean, it goes from the zombies thing, and then it comes back with that fucking guy who he killed, the zombie, the original zombie, Underneath this lady's house and kills her, and then and the blood's pretty cool. The gore's all right. I mean, the dog is funny as hell. The, the fucking ain't demonic alien fuck the dog. The cat is funny where she picks up the cat and the water yeah. like comes out of its eyes. And they come down their mouths when they put yeah they She's these like, slugs. <laughs> <laughs> it's like they're an automatic pez machine. <laughs> like, <laughs> I just and then. Like his friend dies, J C dies in this, and they got yeah, me. Yeah, the listen, they got me. The braces. Yeah, guy. He, and he hey he he finally walked before he died. He walked. I'm gonna call him Jimmy. Yeah, yeah, Jimmy I just dies. he was he funny. It's like Jimmy from South Park, and he reminds me of Jimmy from South Park. Jimmy or Timmy? Jimmy. Timmy oh. is the one in the wheelchair where he goes. Timmy. Oh, Timmy's the one with the fucking damn. Timmy. And Timmy. Oh. Timmy. oh god. I don't know. I just at the end of the day, this I, I don't recommend this film. I just if you want to see a dumb movie, I guess watch this high, baby. Maybe you'll like it better when you're stoned out of your mind, I guess, or drunk. But thrill me, you know. Okay, <laughs> every time his lawn wires, I forget. I can't. I, I, I can't remember him. But it's just, Tom Atkins steals the show in this, but I don't know why he had to die. Oh, I just gotta just kill myself, but to realize, oh, the aliens are gonna win anyway. I mean, it's just I don't know. It it was if that was that prosperous. Was that word? I guess. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I mean, it just 
It's, it's dumb. It's dumb. I, it's, it was bad. Sorry, for me, bad horror comedy. And it was shit. And I, I don't recommend this, and this is definitely not rewatchable. I mean, maybe, I mean, the only thing that's rewatchable is me going on YouTube and rewatch the Tom Atkins scenes. That's it. So, it was double poops. Fuck it. So, well, if you guys like these reviews, I got plenty more coming your way. And then I got some that's, if you want to check, I got a bunch of other reviews. I'm trying to get to that number 200. I'm going to make him review Tammy and the T-Rex. I am not doing that. Maybe yes, next, maybe next yes, month. Probably yes. November I will. But I'm not doing this month, no. I ain't watching no damn Tommy Dread. I think the next movie that me and her is going to watch will probably be Night of the Comet. It's so. not a kid's movie. It's like about this girl named Tammy and she's played by Denise Richards. And there's like Paul Walker and like yeah, they cut much. Paul Walker's brain in a dinosaur. <laughs> Yeah. See which I have to put it is so stupid. Oh no. It's funny. You guys check out the Night of the Creeps. If you liked it, good for you. Awesome. But for me and her, we just fought with some an hour and whatever twenty eight minutes of piss. Just it was kooky fun, but not really entertaining. So yeah, my my I need a haircut. But I'm STS and that's Desi Daisy. Peace.